Hey makers, this is Yana with Makis. Today I'm going to show you how to make a rainbow cake topper using shapes from Cricut Design Space. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe for more helpful tutorials for making cake toppers. Also, be sure to get your freebies from the link below. Okay, well, let's get started. So let's go into our shapes and take a circle. Let's make an even number so it's easy for us to work with it. Then what we're going to do first is we're going to cut the circle in half. How this works is taking another shape and let's do square since it's the closest one. Unlock it so we can move the size. And our, our uh, circle, we want to make sure to align it to our grid so we can tell where the middle of the circle is. So that's where the middle is. Now we're going to select all and we're going to slice. So now what we did is we have our half circle and this is our starting point. From here we're going to be selecting the circle or half circle and we're going to duplicate it and increase the width by half. And we're going to keep going as many colors as we want to have. This is how many circles we have to duplicate. So, and keep increasing it. Let's do one more just for demonstration. Here we're going to have three colors of the rainbow. And this last one is going to be the center. So this one doesn't count as a color of the rainbow. Let me show you what I mean. Let's go ahead and color these. Let's try purple or let's do actually pink. You can change to whatever you want. Then let's go with purple, maybe a little bit darker. And let's try Let's try teal. Those pretty girly colors. Okay, and this last one we get doesn't matter what color it is, but let's put white just for demonstration. So first, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reorder them because when we duplicated the way Cricut Design Space arranged them is um, the backwards order. So I'm gonna just move the layers around. Starting from the the end, I'm just going to drag them to the top. Okay, so now we have the correct order. We're going to hit select all. And then we're going to align center horizontally. And then we're going to align bottom. So here we have the beginning of our rainbow cake topper. At this point you can make it complete or if you want to remove this inner part to have it um, see-through or transparent we have to cut all these layers out. So we're gonna have to select the white one, hold shift and select the next layer. So now you see both layers are highlighted and we're gonna Hit the slice tool. So what it did, it, it sliced our rainbow. So we have the top, I mean the bottom of the rainbow, the teal color, and now we have the top of it. So we want to keep the top, but the bottom portion we don't need, we can just delete. So we're going to do the same thing to the other two colors. So select white, hold shift, select your other color, hit slice, and let's delete the inner portion. And again, we're going to do that to the pink, hit slice, and we can delete that one. And now we don't need the white one anymore. Looks like they rearranged this for us, so we're going to move it again. Okay. 
Let's try this way. There we go. Okay, so we just moved that one around. So now we have them in the correct order and now we have our basic rainbow shape. So let's make it a little bit pretty and add some clouds. So for that we're gonna, let's go ahead and group this just to keep it all together and let's then choose the circle again and in this case make sure you unlock it and let's let's create a cloud so this is no real um, no real design just whatever you like let's duplicate and for some reason it keeps closing all the time so we have to keep unlocking it and just create a cloud shape by over overlapping the circles uh, or ovals in this case Let's see how this looks. So we're going to have to select only the circles. Don't select okay, um, the rainbow. So let's try this again. You can also do it on the layer palette. Select the layer, hold shift, and then select all the circles here. And now we go to weld. And here's our cloud. A little funky, but we can add another one. So let's do another circle uh, on a group. Let's see if we can fix our cloud to be a little bit more prettier. Let's try this. Weld. Here you go. A little bit better. So again, you can create your cloud any shape whatever feels right for you. This is what we have in this demonstration. So what I'm gonna do is now duplicate it. So select your cloud and duplicate. And we can um, either make it the same or let's try going on top right here and flip horizontally. So it's gonna make it like a mirror. And if you hold shift and select both clouds, let's do a line top just so we can see how it's aligned. You can create create another cloud or um, just duplicate one of these and put it right here. So we have our rainbow king topper. What I would do right here, you can either add a name or we can just type an H. So let's try three. I like to use the font Arial Bold because it's usually in everybody's computer and it's nice and thick for cake toppers. So here we go. We have our um, age. So we can leave the colors as is or let's change the colors of our clouds. Let's see blue clouds. Let's pretend this is gold. And this is our cake topper. So this is as simple as that. All we use is slice, weld, and circles. There you have it. Now go ahead and try your cake topper and you can log in to Maki's Makers Club on Facebook and post it there so we can all see. If you have any questions, let us know. See you there.